All right, folks, welcome to a quick introduction to the photo booth in the surrounding area there. This is going to be at the front of the classroom and should have everything you need in order to take quality pictures of your finished work for your portfolios. Again, this is only for glazed work. You can take your unglazed work back at your table. Uh, this is the photo booth area, and currently it has a piece of paper down on it, and that's mainly to protect the actual infinity screen which is we'll talk about on the next slide. You can take your pictures there if it looks like it's crinkle free and your pots stand out okay. You can take it on that white paper. There's also white paper to the sides. That's just to reflect the light a little bit more and give you a little bit better illumination for your particular pieces. Keep this area clean. Okay, this is the actual infinity screen. Notice how it goes from light to dark. That's not just a shading issue, that's, it's actually painted to do that so that you don't have a distracting background. It looks like it goes on forever. Uh, there's no seam in the background. And although I've really zoomed out from here so that you can see the entire setup, you don't want to take your pictures showing all of this. When you are taking your pictures, you want to get right up to your pieces because you have a lot less negative space. You want to make sure you can even come in a little bit closer. I've got my camera on the tripod for the video, but you will want to actually come up closer and try some different angles as well. But most likely, you're going to want to use the infinity screen, which notices lighter down here and darker up there. So it again, makes it look like it goes back in the distance with no distracting edges. When you're getting ready to use the infinity screen, you want to make sure that you kind of wipe it off first so there's no crunchy, dusty stuff on there. And then you may end up wanting to use some felt pads if your pots are big enough. And notice this pot is not big enough. The felt pad shows. So you don't want any of that felt pad showing. Use that only if the piece is big enough to cover that. Again, notice the white sides, that's going to reflect that light. You may still want to use a light for it. When you're done, wipe away any crusts that you may have left behind, making sure that you cover that up. Now one note before I cover that, make sure if you're taking your pictures on the infinity screen, that if you've got any, any sharp spots on the bottom or anything like that, or really just in general, do not just turn your pieces directly on the screen. Pick it up and turn it, or pick it up and move it. Don't slide it on, you know, resting on the base. Also make sure when you're wiping off the screen that you use a clean, dry towel. Uh, don't ever put anything wet on there. It does stain it a little bit. So again, just a clean, dry towel. And then make sure that you put that white cover sheet back down to protect it. And then hopefully you end up with a nice quality um, set of photographs that will record the awesomeness of your work.